and I'll try it sashimi, the belly meat. Wowzer, look at this stomach. Man, is it full. Whoa, look at Oh, here we go, what's up? Oh, good flounder, you guys, good flounder. Oh yeah, good old, good old flatfish. Oh no, it's not, it's a trout. Oh wow, oh what a surprise. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful surprise there. That is definitely my best trout. That, wow. Wow, oh my gosh. He just slayed that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and clean our trout up here. We'll give it a nice fillet. I think this cooler is good luck. What do you guys think? Somebody said I need, well actually a few people said I needed to upgrade. To a What's up you guys? Really hope you enjoyed watching the catching of that trout there. It was such a surprise to me. I really thought I had a flounder because it was right there in the surf where I was expecting a uh, flounder to be chasing my tandem down to. But anyways, we saw the cleanup of this trout here had a lot of food in its stomach. A huge appetite on this baby girl right here. We've got the uh, filet right here that has been skinned up. I'm actually going to do a little bit of sashimi. I tried a little piece earlier in that video with the belly meat there. So I'm gonna try a few of those pieces of the belly meat as sashimi and see what that comes out like. I have a good feeling. And the rest will make into a huge bowl of ceviche. We're ready to start here. Lucky's all ready to start as well because he knows that whenever I'm preparing fish, he gets a little treat as well. We're gonna, I'm gonna need to uh, peel off the, the belly skin here for the lining, but shouldn't be too terribly hard at all. Lucky boy, where'd you go? You want a little piece of fish? Peeling off real easy there. And of course, before I'm eating this sashimi, this fish has been frozen now for almost a week. Getting the skin off, but not it, not being able to keep all that meat together there. But there's a piece of the belly meat. And I tried it earlier in soy sauce, and it was great. And of course, I've already done as much inspection on this as I can for parasites and there isn't anything to my knowledge. I've done a bit of reading up and sushi grade has a lot of uh, ambiguity to it so take that as you will. Of course with any fish you want to eat raw you definitely want to freeze it for a few days at least. Filled off as much as I could there. Might end up giving that piece to the lucky boy and I'll try the other couple pieces for myself. So a nice couple pieces of meat there and that is the belly meat which I am going to try. I was trying to open it and it was like all this heck up over here. Bring out a little bit of soy sauce here because the piece I tried uh, in the cleanup video was way better when dunked in soy sauce. Just generally how I like to eat my sashimi anyways. But let's go ahead and try trout belly sashimi. Give it a dunk there. And I'll give you guys an honest opinion here, of course. I mean, if you serve that to me 
at a uh, sushi restaurant and you told me it was anything else, like, shoot, I wouldn't know. I mean, that was pretty good sashimi. Now, would I recommend going out there, catching a bunch of trout and making like trout belly sashimi? Probably not. It's uh, probably not recommended to eat too much of, but I don't see how a couple pieces of trout belly could hurt you. And man, that was pretty much just like sushi that I've had in restaurants. I know a lot of people don't like raw fish, so if you don't like raw fish, you definitely won't like this. This is for people that like sushi in the first place. Mm. Let's give Lucky his pieces of sashimi, trout sashimi. Ooh. Let me know what you think. It was alright to me. It's definitely like, look, it's definitely not like a fish that you catch in open ocean, alright? It's not on that level. I don't want to play it to you guys like it is. Lucky will play it to you guys like it's freaking filet mignon served by Gordon Ramsay. Or a beef wellington. Alright, let's see here. Our trout slab right here. We are going to make ceviche with that. I had a buddy of mine tell me that this was their favorite fish that they could catch from the surf and make ceviche with, so pretty excited here. Of course, I'm using the filet that I mangled up for this because we'll be chopping it up anyways. So let's get to doing that here. And I'm making the entire thing into ceviche. I've gotten confident now that I can do it in uh, big, big batches like this. So that's what we'll do. And I'll just cut this meat up nice and small here so it cooks up fast. And this is a good method for you if you don't like raw fish. Because uh, this is not raw. Ceviche is in between pretty much cooked and raw like you would expect uh, cooked to be because the acid of the lime that we're going to end up soaking it in is going to denature the proteins a lot like heat does. So it'll denature the proteins in the meat and sort of render it cooked in a sort of technical sense there. And for a base ceviche, you just need salt and lime, like I said in the black drum video, and then I enjoy adding uh, cilantro and red onion there. It gives it a nice flavor, a little good, good uh, color as well. And it has been a home run with everybody. I've still got that filet with the skin on, that little bit of tail fin. I really like how that came out. A scale there. Like, where did that come from? There ain't even any skin on here, and we've got a scale. Interesting. Okay, let's start chopping these up into nice little pieces here. Nice little chunks. Very nice for a ceviche. There we go. Nice speckled tree tree. Nice speckled trout filet chunks here, ready to go into a ceviche. Should I try one of these uh sashimi?
It's all right. Like I said, not like an open water fish. <clears throat> I prefer to have my tuna, snapper, that kind of stuff. All right, let's bust out another chopping board. Can we get closer? Food processor is available today, so we will exercise its use. Sent our cilantro through the processor. This will be a proper size Tupperware here for this. We'll add our fish in there. Just like that. And for me, I like it to be just large enough so that all the fish kind of sits flat and I can get a good coating of salt onto there. So don't have any more of the co uh, coarse kosher salt, just some of this, uh, give it a nice cover in there because we want it to be salty limey. Put the rest of our salt there. All right, and we can go ahead and squeeze some limes. I've got this handy dandy little cup here. So we'll just roll these out. And I'm guessing we'll need about five, six limes here. Maybe more, we'll see. But we are using a lot more fish than I usually do at once. But I've got a large crowd here for this. Every time I make it, get a phone call, get a text. This is the best part. So I wanna say, uh, Oh, we're almost at about a half a cup of limeade, or lime juice. So, we'll see how much more we'll need after that. Let's go ahead and prepare. This is about my favorite thing to make because every time I make it, it comes out good. Oh, but this is my least favorite part here, cutting up the red onion because I always cry. So, tears coming. And how, you can cut this however large you like. I like having little pieces so that, you know, each bite is not overwhelming. But, you know, it's always a personal preference there. And every addition here is a personal preference beyond the lime and salt. So, like I said in the black drum video, a lot of people enjoy adding tropical fruits, spices, corn, good, good amount of uh, stuff you can add into this and really make it your own. But if this brings you just a little closer to those men who are going into the hottest spot. Pretty. I love how red onion looks. Just a pretty vegetable there to add. Give us a good color there. Real nice color. Scoop all of our cilantro in. And I'm gonna add all of the cilantro. Man, it's my favorite part of this, really. Cilantro's just got a great way of tying in all of these fresh ingredients like no other. I guess I did better chopping that up because um, very minimal tears here. I mean, they are beginning to show, but you know, it's not like. <laughs> All right, everything has been added. Let's give it a good mix up here with a spoon. We've added everything and then we'll add our lime. I probably went a little over on the cilantro there, but who cares? It is some good herb there to munch on. Time for the breaking moment. Pour it a little bit out. So definitely gonna need some more lime in there. 
we just want our lime to be slightly above our fish. Not completely over every piece, but we want to make sure each piece has got a great chance of cooking up in that acid. Let's see what this will do. It looks like we've got enough there. Or nearly enough. Yep, just nearly. So we'll most likely need to add a lot more salt here. But always better to need to add than to have way too salty. It's gonna need more than that. So added a good bit of salt there. Stir it around. And you can see the meat there starting to whiten up. Oh, and it's such a fresh way to eat your fish. Probably my favorite. Or, I won't play with you guys. It is my favorite. Make it once a week now. It's almost there almost there it's 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 kind of uh, flirting with me the flavor it's not it's not perfect yet Yeah, that's better. That's good. Mm -hmm. A little more. Check out how the color is changing there. Oh, so beautiful. That is my ceviche. I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, but this is exactly for me. We're going to go ahead and close it up here. We'll pop it in the fridge. And this one I will probably leave for a couple of hours and let it get just right. Alright, it's been a couple of hours now. It could use a couple of more here, I won't lie, but I'm a bit impatient here. I'm getting hungry and it is just fine with me like that. So, I'll flip it around here and give you guys that taste test of course. So, couldn't find the chips that I usually like, the, the Caladad, or I think that's what they're called. These are the Santitas, they're nowhere near as good. Oh yes, just take a look at that right there. Nothing wrong with that site at all. Mmm. Just so fresh. The salt, the lime, the cilantro, red onion. It all comes together, and this is just my favorite way to eat fish. It's so fresh, and I'm pretty sure anybody would like this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook, and I will catch y'all in the next one here. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and we'll see you.